everything inside me. The 1992 Agenda 21 was made public by the United Nations at a UN Conference on Environment and Development, held in Rio de Janeiro, and signed by 178 countries. It had been modified many times since then. Agenda 21 is transforming into a new set of laws being pushed through the United Nations. More oppressive and couched in language that hides its true meaning, it is based on the UN's sustainability goals as part of sustainable development goals that will complete the submission of sovereign countries to the UN mandates. The new laws, called Agenda 2030, are being finalized at the Sustainable Development Summit to be held in New York City from September 25th through the 27th. Agenda 21 focused primarily on the environment. The 2030 Agenda is the foundation for governing the entire world. It encompasses climate change in the areas of economics, health, energy, education, agriculture, gender equality, and social justice. The UN is hailing it as a new universal agenda for all of humanity. Agenda 2030 is a plan of action for the people, the earth, and prosperity. It will require the collaboration of all countries, acting in partnership to take bold and transformative steps to place the world on a more sustainable path. In essence, this is a plan for transforming global society. These are some interesting concepts that must be questioned. I admit many of them sound pretty good, I would even go so far as to say admirable. But upon closer inspection, these 17 goals and the 169 targets that are a part of them, appear to be nothing more than globalism at its worst. It will give the United Nations and those elite who have been working for a one-world government for many years the opportunity to micromanage the lives of every man, woman and child on the world. These are the same elites who tell us that liberty and freedom are dangerous, and we can't have everyone going around the earth just doing what they want. Just a few thoughts on the 15 goals that immediately come to mind. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. 1. End poverty in all its forms everywhere. Admirable, but not possible. The only way that would even approach feasibility, would be to force those countries with a high level of satisfaction in the lifestyle they have worked for, to be taxed in one form or another, to give money to those who still have poverty. This money will wind up just like the monies that are being sent to UN NGOs, wasted and used to line the pockets of the governments and those in charge of running the programs. 2. End hunger, achieve food security, and promote sustainable agriculture. This would mean that farmers would be told where to farm, how to farm, and who to sell their products. American farmers may be required to sell the products they sell to a country or faction that cannot pay, or not pay enough to create a profit. Farms may go bankrupt, creating even more of a food shortage. 3. Ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all. Perhaps a one-world healthcare system. Does anyone believe that the healthcare we had enjoyed because of the markets here in America before Obama destroyed them with Obamacare will ever return as the system that it was? What will be the wait time when we need to get approval through a bureaucracy set up by the United Nations? 4. Ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. This would take a massive influx of monies from the developed nations to happen. It would not reach its objectives, and in fact, would force the developed countries into third world status, rather than improve the non-developed countries. 5. Ensure access to affordable reliable sustainable energy for all. Think Obama's clean energy fiasco on a global level. 6. Promote sustained, inclusive, and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment, and decent work for all. This sounds straight out of the socialist handbook. There has never been full employment in any developed country. 
and who will determine who works at each job. 7. Build resilient infrastructure, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization. If that innovation involves pushing people to live in rabbit warren megacities, and allowing the rest of the land to return to nature, that will never happen, not in America. The government of this country, much less the United Nations, has no authority to tell us what to do with our private property. This would be the start of a global civil war within the developed countries of the world. 8. Reduce inequality within and among countries. What possibly makes the United Nations believe that they would be given the right to dictate to the US or England, Canada, or any other country they felt would be equal? Would this allow the UN to set reparations, or force the country's citizens to live, where the UN feels is equal? 9. Make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable. Once again, the megacities that the globalists envision for the world's populations feel they know better where we should live, and force people into specific areas, so that the rest of the land, would return to nature. 10. Ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns. The UN uses its wisdom to control consumption, including oil, food, and anything else they feel is not sustainable. I do not think the American people are ready to abide by rules on what they can eat, drink, or virtually anything they do to the reach of globalists. 11. Take urgent action to combat climate change. This is a subject that has proven to be a false flag for the globalists to manage every aspect of our lives. Most people of any intelligence, know it is a lie, but remain silent, not to incur the wrath of the scientists and lobbyists making all the money from the government to push this agenda. 12. Conserve the oceans, sea, and marine resources, for sustainable development. This is nothing more but an act to assure, that all mineral resources and the use of the oceans will be under the command of the United Nations, giving them the ability to buy and sell the resources, and line the pockets of the globalists. They would be stealing the resources from those countries least able to afford it, the very same people they purport to want to help. 13. Protect, restore, and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, manage forests, halt and reverse land degradation, and halt biodiversity loss. Once again, the UN wants the ability to tell us how to live, what we can and cannot do with our property, at least until it is taken for biodiversity loss, and push the citizens into megacities. 14. Promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development, provide justice for all, and accountable and inclusive institutions at all levels. It concerns me, and should concern you, that the UN wants to institute its form of government at all levels. They have already started with the International Criminal Court, an ineffective and anti-Semitic organization. If you read this the way it is written, it would mean, the UN would have the ability to rewrite laws and interfere with all judicial and regulatory institutions down to the local level. 15. Strengthen the means of implementation, and revitalize the Global Partnership for Sustainable Development. The globalists expect the world's population, to wait for them to make the rules, and meekly comply. Sustainability development is being used as a false flag for the implementation of a global force that will fundamentally transform all laws, cultures, entertainment, and even our beliefs in religion and families, and society in general. These are the globalists who feel they know what is best for us, and we must be forced to comply with their ideas of what a perfect government is. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.